Good morning, this is Brian Rowley, mouse help at roselle.com. Let's go see what we get if we search for mouse help. Well, that's nice, I'm number one. Oh look, I'm number two, and I'm number three. Those are all good things. Let me start with this one. And we'll go help people with computers here. One of the things, one of the many things we do here at Mouse Help. And why did I take you here? One of my clients asked me, how do I get my snipping tool back? She said she had been using snipping tool and it was on her computer, but her son removed it. So I've just removed it from my taskbar so I can show you how to put it back on your taskbar. In your start menu, so if I click on start, type the word snip. You'll see snipping tool shows up on top of the list. So when you click snipping tool, what it does allows you, well I'll show you what it does. Under the new menu you'll see you have these different choices and I'll demonstrate a couple of them. So if I go freeform snip, what that does allows you to draw freeform, right, draw a little circle around what it is you want, kind of lasso it if you will. If you rather do it the way I normally do which is I think this is actually the default that it sets up for anyway when you first install it or when you first open it rectangular snip means you're going to draw you're going to take your mouse see the little cursor here what are they called crosshairs your cursor turns into crosshairs so let's say that you wanted to capture this rectangle so I'm holding down my mouse button and I'm just dragging down and to the right to create a rectangle. And so what that does is it captures the rectangle you've drawn with your mouse and then you can save this as a file. It comes up to defaulted to capture. You want to put it in your pictures or if you're going to use it and throw it away uh, you might put it on your desktop and save it there. But for the most part I save these things in my pictures library and this one is going to be called Snipping Tool Demo. The other thing you can do, you can take a copy of it, which is the same as the copy you do when you're do going to do a copy paste. So if I make a copy of it, it means then if I open some image editor software like this, I can just paste paste that right in. And now, now I'm editing inside my image editing software. So if I wanted to, let's say I just wanted this part of the square inside my image editor, I could just pick up the part that has the graphic in it. This will be an interesting demo. I should do another video on how to install and use Irfan View, which is the image editing software I'm using. So what I'm trying to do here is make my right edge about the same distance as my left edge on this image. So there, but see I've got this little bit of text left over in my image. So this is kind of neat. You just draw another square like this. I'm going to do a control C to copy that square. And I'm going to paste it there. Now I've just cleaned up that image. Like I said, I need to do another tutorial on how to use Irfan View, which is my image editing software. For the purposes of this demo, I'll go through it one more time. So I'm going to type snipping tool open it up. Now with snipping tool open if you want it to be down here you can see you really can't do it yet because you have those little crosshairs. So if I cancel the new image capture now I can see snipping tool down here in my taskbar and if I right click and pin this program to the taskbar now it's there and I close this it stays and you can take your mouse and just drag things around on here so you can move them around on the taskbar and put them in the order that best suits your needs. This is Brian Rowley, mouse help at roselle.com, and this is my number. Give me a call if I can help you with your computer.